At ValuMed, we know every senior's journey is different, with diverse health concerns along the way. We strive to manage seniors' complex medication needs and help reduce the burden on caregivers, families, and residents so they can focus on what's important to them. Uh, sure, we really embarked on an emphasis on quality of care a good probably six years ago, understanding the new ROPs coming into effect, understanding what our payer sources were asking for and value-based purchasing and understanding we knew that we had to increase and maintain our quality of care um, to be significant and relevant in the marketplace. We've restructured what was uh, a typical mock survey into a 365 CQI, which is continuous quality improvement, structured really much after an acute care model where you're ready for survey anytime. You should really have that quality of care going 365 days a year instead of those periods of time three months before and three months after. Um, so that's one of the things that we've done. We've also, because of our EHR and the transparency of which that um, provides us, we developed a new program and a new uh, position called documentation specialist. So my documentation specialists from a clinical and reimbursement perspective are able to look at process breaks and process improvement through the EHR and through the processes that we are able to develop at having an electronic health record. How uh, difficult was it to get everybody on board? I mean, did you have to go through some culture change or just pure education of staff? Absolutely, but I did find that it wasn't as difficult as we had thought it was going to be. And uh, mindful that we're still on that journey and continuing on that journey with uh, structured performance improvement um, projects. But the journey of changing the culture, it's taken a good two years, I would say. But now everyone is seeing the benefit. They're seeing the outcomes. We had 18 months with no significant survey um, activity in our annual surveys given that. And as they see that, they understand how beneficial all of those programs have been for them. And we're, it, we're helping. Um, improve their pro their quality and helping them improve their outcomes and th we've really been able to show that through the outcomes. Being so very high subacute in the West Coast, um, developed a lot of high acuity um, skilled programming. So we do a lot of you know cardiac, uh, pulmonary. Did some specialized programming around. Um, pulmonary, COPD, um, cardiac, heart failure, um, and introducing the effects of comorbidities since everyone has comorbidities these days on all those chronic diseases and also in implementing chronic care management and self-management from families and employees or families and uh, uh, residents themselves.